Hello everyone and welcome back to Aaron's Reading Room and welcome back to my category journey. I'm back from hiatus so let's see how this goes again. We are on book number 26 and for this I'm going to be reading Wyoming Secret Proposal by Amy Vastine. On the Categorically Romance podcast we did a great panel episode where we had all of the authors that are part of the Blackwell family series. It was a super great episode. I'll link it down below in the description box so you can check it out. So we're starting at book number two in this current series because the first one was written by Anna J. Stewart and I've already featured an Anna J. Stewart. I know it's kind of unfair but um, I want to try and feature as many authors as I can before I start repeating and uh, honestly with category I don't know if I'll ever repeat an author but could definitely shout them out and check out Anna J. Stewart's Wyoming Promise right there. So our story starts out in Vegas. We have Wyatt and his friends, maybe brothers. I'm not sure because I'm jumping into the Blackwell series in, in this book. I know there was a whole series before this. There's another series coming, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we're in Vegas for a good time. You know, why people go to Vegas. Wyatt's planning to do some damage to the blackjack table. He only really does some damage to himself, not the house. But social media influencer Harper sits down at the table next to him and is intrigued that he is a cowboy because he's obviously wearing his cowboy hat. Looks a little out of place in Vegas. He gives her a few pointers about blackjack and she wins big, which leads to a surprise kiss on the lips, which is just oh, so sweet. But what happens from there, uh, prepare yourself, folks, because the heartwarming line is getting a bit edgy here. We have a fun night of partaking in alcohol and more kisses, and it leads to a hangover in the morning, and if you think you guessed it right, you probably did, they're married. The thing is, neither of them remember, and Wyatt's already on his way back to Wyoming. He needed to get back, help his family out. He didn't remember when he woke up. He left before she was awake. She wakes up to her friends pounding down the door and like, what are you going to do? She has no idea what's going on until she checks her social media. She's an influencer, so of course she posted the whole thing on her Instagram. Oh man, we're in quite the pickle here. And it makes it worse that her mother lives in Eagle Springs, where Wyatt is on his way back to. So now we're obviously in quite a mess. We don't know what's going to happen. Harper doesn't like to be untruthful to her followers, but she doesn't want to seem like a complete flake, too. While Harper's going to catch a flight to Eagle Springs, or as close to Eagle Springs as possible, because it's Wyoming. I don't know. I've, n I've never been there. What? Nope. Nope, that's not true. I got caught in a snowstorm and a road trip in Wyoming, the town of Laramie. And so she is going to try and convince Wyatt that they should at least go along with this for a little bit so that her followers think that it's somewhat legit. Well, that's chapter one and two. I'm going to go on, read a few more chapters, and I will check in with you then. Good morning, everyone. I finished chapter four. No, I didn't just come from the kitchen. This is this is actually a cat pouch thing that it's supposedly supposed to keep my arms free. So none of the none of the cats enjoy it so far, but we'll see how it goes. So in chapter three, we got a big family recap, which I definitely needed because I have not read book one in this series yet uh, or any of the other Blackwell books. So you got a bit of a crash course in Blackwell family lineage. I picked up on a little bit of rivalry between the two of the senior Blackwell families. I believe one of them is from the uh, is from another state, but it's just visiting right now. But Wyatt's getting worked pretty hard at the ranch, and, you know, what's he need to do after a good hard days of work is take the nieces and nephew to Tucker's Ice Cream Shop, obviously. Well, we knew from the first two chapters that Harper's favorite part of visiting Eagle Springs is going to Tucker's Ice Cream Shop. So we know exactly what's going to happen there. And, you know... The reunion wasn't as explosive as as we might have thought, but there was some fun elements of Brother Levi giving his little brother a hard time about being with such a beautiful woman, though they don't know the truth of everything yet. So Tucker's obviously the matchmaker of the town, at least in this book he is, and we want to thank him so much for that. If it weren't for both of these two being his favorite customer, 
things things probably would not have worked out the same. So we're very happy that he's there. We're very happy that he plays favorites sometimes. But now for Wyatt, he is very unsure about this whole social media thing. He doesn't understand it. He's always busy working with his hands, doesn't have time for the internet and that kind of thing. It's going to be, it's going to take some more convincing on Harper's part for him to play along with this. But I just have this feeling that she's going to wear him down and, you know, there might be some sparks that fly in that wearing down process. So I'm going to go on and read a few more chapters and I will check in with you then. Hello everyone, I finished chapter six. Um, I also have a cat in the pouch now. They're still trying to make up their mind. So of course, Wyatt has decided to go along with Harper's whole plan with everything. They're spending a little bit of time on the ranch together, but Wyatt is making sure that no one sees Harper around because he doesn't need to explain anything to anyone and because his family will just pry and pry and pry until he has to tell the truth because he's he's just a truth-telling guy, I feel like. Lying, lying doesn't seem like his, his M.O. We also got a glimpse into Harper's mother and stepfather and... You know there's some some drama coming there because we know that Brock stepfather is not not uh, on good terms with the Blackwell matriarch, and there's like bank debt involved and things like that, and so I think there's some competition for who runs Eagle Springs, and now Brock thinks he can leverage Harper's social media following to his advantage, so. We'll have to see where that goes. It's very exciting stuff. One kind of fun thing is that Harper seems to be figuring out more about the town than Wyatt does, because they're both not, they don't, both don't spend a lot of time in Eagle Springs, but because of just her travel, blogging, vlogging, all of that, she's getting to know the town and everything, and he's, you know, busy working on the ranch. And even though it's his hometown, he, he doesn't know about new stuff that's popped up, so... It's going to be super fun, a lot of potential for some really great dates coming up here. So we're going to go on, read a few more chapters, and I will check in with you then. Hey everybody, I finished chapter 9, and Big E, the patriarch of the Blackwells of Montana, has seen Harper in or around Betty, that is, that's Wyatt's camper trailer, several times now, and he's... He's a bit of a stir. He stirs things up. So we've got some trouble coming along. And like I said, with those fun dates coming up, one of them happened and it was, it was pretty great. You know, these two, Harper and Wyatt, they, they just have a dilemma on their hands because they can't stop having sleepovers. Now this is heartwarming. Slow down. Don't, don't get ahead of yourselves, even though they're, there was a camera involved this last time, but I'll just leave that tidbit there for you. It's it's getting it, things are heating up between the two of them, and so there's going to be some great stuff happening here. I think some secrets are going to get revealed. Some, some feelings are going to get deeper. It's just it's going to be even more magical than it's been so far. So I'm going to go on and read a few more chapters. And I will check in with you then. Hello everyone. I just finished chapter 14 and. Things were going so well. These two were thinking that, thinking in their own head how much they like the other one, and they were doing a bit of admitting it out loud. But you know, they still they still kind of have in the back of their head that this needs to end. Well, things have been going on in this small town, obviously. Harper is trying to connect with her stepfather, Brock, who is also the one at the bank that called in the loan, and there's obviously some, there's some shifty stuff going on between the Blackwell Ranch and the bank and Brock. Well, Harper thinks she's just going to have this great opportunity to connect with her stepfather. This has potential to get dangerous. And there was a cliffhanger at the end of chapter 14 where we know there's bad blood between Denny Blackwell and Brock. So there was a plan for these two to be a little more honest with the people of Eagle Springs, but we have ourselves a dilemma now. The gossip got round in the grapevine, and I imagine there's some very upset people right now. As much as I wanted things to go right, we absolutely love the drama that happens. They say that these heartwarmings are low angst, maybe in terms of the relationship between our protagonists, but 
let me tell you, there's a lot, a lot of drama going on in the external fashion in these books. So I'm very excited to continue on. So I'll read a few more chapters and I will check in with you then. Okay, friends, I just finished chapter 16 and I might have thought things were bad before. Well, I spoke too soon. They're even worse now. And not only is it the external problems going on right now, we have our protagonists very unsure of what they're going to do in this situation, which is not what we want at all. I'm very nervous that these two are just going to make some more bad decisions. Not that, that, okay, I'll correct. They weren't making bad decisions before. They were just making decisions in ignorance of the whole situation, which isn't their fault. It's not their fault, but they're, they're both a little more in the know now. They've got enough rope to hang themselves is, is, is what the saying is. I've said this so many times before. <laughs> I think I say this every single time I read a heartwarming. I always think I'm just in for nothing but a pleasant read, but I tell you what, they are so stressful sometimes. So I'm gonna take a breath, maybe have some lunch, and I'll read a few more chapters and I'll check in with you then. Hello everyone, I just finished Wyoming Secret Proposal by Amy Vastine. It wrapped up most everything, but the Blackwell Ranch is still in a lot of trouble. There's still, there's still things to figure out here. The most disappointing thing is it sounds like Big E is going to uh, remove himself from the picture for a while, which he was actually one of my favorite characters in this book. He makes a very fine side character. But of course, our love interests work things out in the end. It took, took some very difficult and hard and tear-wrenching conversations. Um, there were also some some very sweet, sweet moments there. I have an idea. I'm thinking that there's probably going to be a wedding coming up in the next books that that they're probably going to remember it this time. So at least at least I hope so. We've even had some character redemption in the story as well, but I'm going to keep that part under wraps. You're going to have to go and read this one yourself to figure out what I'm talking about there. But I am Super glad that I picked this book to continue my category journey with. It was the most excellent one. I don't think there was a more perfect one out there to pick the project back up. So thank you, thank you to Amy Vastine. And this was just a great book to introduce me to Amy Vastine as well. She writes a very exciting drama, but also a very, very sweet love story. So folks, definitely check out Wyoming Secret Proposal by Amy Vastine. Check the description box below. You'll find all the places to locate Amy online to follow her and get any news on any new books that are coming out by her. So thank you everyone for joining me on the 26th edition of my category journey. It was such a great time having you here. I hope you stick around because it's going to keep going for now. So happy reading everyone and I will see you in the next video.